Well, this is interesting. I didn't know about this. I learned about it when I took the train up to New York on Monday. Amtrak officials expected to be grilled on Capitol Hill about a controversial policy change that has made what well, was made without much uh, public knowledge. In January, Amtrak, they decided to add a clause to their terms and conditions that takes away your right to sue if something happens. Mm -hmm. So that means you'll now be forced into arbitration, even in the event of a tragic accident like the 2015 derailment in Philadelphia that killed eight people. Because remember, they sued, ended up getting more than $200 million um, altogether. So in a statement, Amtrak says it made the change to, quote, resolve some customer claims more efficiently. That's what they're calling it. They go on to say that court proceedings can be very drawn out and are costly, and that most claims are already resolved through arbitration. So, Joe, uh, Marone is here, attorney at law. Uh, well, I, when I bought my ticket, I agreed to that on Monday? Yes, you did. So if you read the fine print... Like, you, which I never do. Nobody, nobody does. ever does, right? So you, when you buy the ticket, you agree that if you have a claim, you're going to go into arbitration, whether you like it or not. And it's, it's not by choice. It's by the agreement you make. So it takes away the court system from the passenger or the alleged passenger. So to break it down, it's not going before a jury of our peers. It's not going before a judge. Arbitration. That's it's right. Allowed. It takes away public accountability, which mm. is a horrible thing, I think, for the consumer. But that's the way it's going in corporate America. These forced arbitration clauses that they allow uh, when someone has an actual claim against mm -hmm. a big company, it's taking you out of the court system, which is not fair to the consumer. And I'm going to tell you why, and it's very important. Um, where, where is the corporation to account for their actions if something goes wrong? If they're going to have some arbitration where some one person is going to decide versus a jury of their peers, I don't think it's fair, and it's not going to really hold them in, in check. Because they'll likely pick someone who's going to lean toward, you know, how they Yeah, feel. it's going to be a conservative individual, someone that's probably... Plus, it, it's not a group... Take, take the 2015 uh, derailment. Where would you rather be? Would you rather be in front of a Philadelphia jury or some arbitrator? Hmm. Well, if I'm a plaintiff, I sure as hell want to be in front of uh, jury. a jury. And if I'm, if I'm a corporation, I want to control the environment. And, and again, and, that's what, and it takes away the whole element of punitive damages. Punitive damages are to punish a corporation if they're doing something wrong. Do you think this is the result of the 2015 crash? I think it's part of it. I think it's to kind of control catastrophic injuries, injuries that uh, make uh, corporations okay. pay big dollars. So when I buy an airline ticket, is that the same thing? No, airlines aren't, are, um, it's unenforceable to have arbitration clauses. So they're the not airlines. allowed to have them? They, they don't have them by federal law. Well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is most, like, uh, ride-sharing buses, stuff like that, that tends to have, that they'll, they'll allow you to have forced arbitration clauses, but or, for the airlines, they just don't have them. So since we don't really have a choice here, what would happen if something were to go down? Can I, there, I won't be able to sue at all? Is there any way I can, if I don't feel comfortable No, you can bring a claim, but you just have to go th uh, to an arbitration through the American Arbitration Panel. Okay, Is so there's no way I can go before a jury, basically. Right, and, and okay. it also takes away the ability to really get information, to have public disclosure, all the things you want in, in a case, but they sell it as it's efficient. It's going to be streamlined, it's going to be cleaner, it's going to be faster. They make it like they're doing you the favor, which is never really the case. Is that because the government owns Amtrak? Well, the government owns Amtrak, but it's, it's the trend of where corporations are going. I mean, right. the government supports arbitration clauses across the board. The courts have supported it. I mean, it's been challenged, and they're going to have yeah. hearings in Congress, but it's going to go nowhere. Hey, what's going to go on this Kratz, uh, Kratz trial now? He, he didn't take the stand like we thought he was going to. Denardo didn't, his cousin, yeah. take the stand. He never yeah. left prison. So, so Kratz has, has nothing to lose, right? He initially had an offer for life. True. Right? So they were able to have the jury decide whether it's, not, it's going to be first-degree murder, murder or possibly as low as manslaughter. They're trying to sell it that Donardo was a crazy individual that was threatening, that forced Kratz to basically do these things against his will. He was afraid of him. Right. He didn't intentionally mean to, to, to kill these individuals. He was basically being threatened, and he had no choice, or he was going to be killed. Is that going to work? I think it may. I think it may. Mm -hmm. We'll listen to you. I, I, I like the way he's selling it. I mean, because Donardo's got a long history of being an insane individual, very mm -hmm. threatening. And if you're in, in his grasp, in his world, uh, you may have no choice. When will we find out, do you think? I think it'll be quick. It'll be probably within within one day. Yeah, yeah. probably tomorrow. Probably, if probably. not today. Uh, all right, thank you. Absolutely. It's By the way, seeing you guys. Monday we have our uh, fashion or touchdown. Tuesday. No, Monday night. It's Monday, Monday night. night the film oh, I'm already ready. War. Fashion hey. touchdown. Okay. It's uh, it's such a great event, and uh, we're raising money. That's right. We're going to raise a lot of money for Big Brothers Big Sisters. Great organization. Great, great organization that I believe in. And a lot of Eagles players will be there. Oh, They'll yeah. be walking down um, the runway along with their significant others. That's always fun. And Joan Shep is going to be showing a lot of her fashions. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a great time. And, and some amazing auction items. Golf with uh, Doug Peterson and Brent Selleck, 18 holes, right? Okay. And we'll also dinner with Carson Wentz at the Four Seasons. How about that? 
That's You've right. got to come to this event. Uh, are we still doing it uh, Fillmore? Fillmore? at the Fillmore? Yeah, it's going to be great. I'll be there. Perfect. Monday night. By the way, thank you for leading the charge on this. Uh, it's something I believe in, and yeah, I love man. doing it, and I'm going to keep doing it every year. It's a wonderful event. We'll yeah, also be celebrating you. a win over the Patriots, which will just icing on the cake. It will be, it'll be great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My lips. You sounds so convinced. <laughs>